Hi, welcome to this complete uh, theming uh, tutorial. We have um, pimped our system here to hibiscus colors. So you see we have already this arc hibisco theme and we have these conky that has changed and we have our tin 2 that has changed, Rofi has changed, Rofi is this one. So that's already fixed. Another thing you might consider, but I think it's overkill, but we'll do the exercise anyway to show you how it will work, is to make new icons with the same color. That's possible too. You go to the file manager and you go to the icons that have been downloaded and installed. And that's here. And oh yeah, sure, sorry, you guys should go here. But since I'm the designer of the icons, I have to go here. So I'm, of course, working on my own home directory to make those guys. We have this Sardi Flexible that we can change. There are change color scripts here. And we can, let's take a look first. Um, this one is the smallest. So we can use this kind of blue. And with a little program, I change the blue to the colors that are here. So an hibiscus, row of hibiscus icons. That's one thing we can do. So that's called the flexible one. We can change the Sardi Colora, meaning we can change these kind of elements to and folders, particularly folders. Change the folders to this kind of pinkish colors, but I'm not a fan of that. I think that will be too much. But um, what else are the flat colora? We can change these elements. So it's a different kind of folder. We can change those colors with scripts. Sadly flexible we've seen. We can change this kind of folder. A little bit different. No shadow behind it. We can change that. Also a colora one, so meaning we can change it with that's this kind of look. This folders can change to any color you want. Okay. We can change these guys, Sadi Ghost, which is all white. The result will be that all these icons that you see are white here will then be hibiscus color. That's also a nice possibility. I think that would be could be nice. So that's um, that one, I think. Flexible color is almost the same thing, but also with these um, folders, because the other folders are white and these are a little bit, well, let's say normal. And then the, ma the no, so not this one. We cannot change those two. We cannot change, but Colora, anything with Colora and Flexible, you see all these scripts, then you can change it. So I can change any of these elements, this blue, this orange, and the icon with this little script. And that's a second idea we can do later on. So two more projects at least. But um, I've made my point. Everything that's Colora can be changed, everything that's flexible can be changed. All right, Sadly flexible, change color, create new icon, what's all this? First of all, you have to make sure that it's a script. So properties, permissions, make sure that it's a script, otherwise you can't run it. We're gonna make a copy and we're gonna name it. It's gonna be called Sardi. It's based on Sardi Flexible. So I call it Radio Flexible, so I still know what it's based on. And then Hibiscus, which is going to be the color, the name. Now, everything is still open. This is the color we have been using all the time. And I'm going to open it here. And it says, what's your new color? This one, without the hashtag. Okay, and all this is row. A lot of work went in all these scripts. So, maybe first off, um, we have now this script here that's changed. What you shouldn't do ever, and I almost did it, <laughs> what you shouldn't do is run it in inside this one because then you have lost the sadly flexible one. And this is quite dangerous for me because this is my genuine one. This is my the one I'm working on and sharing with you guys. So I can't afford to make a mistake here. 
And all I do is Control C, Control V. I'm gonna add hibiscus. So now I have two icons, Savi Flexible and Savi Flexible Hibiscus. This one needs to be deleted for the later updates on SourceForge. No, it shouldn't be in here. So we can experiment with this folder and do our thing with it. Let's select it first. Preferences, XFCE. And we're going to look for the icons, of course. And what do we see? It's not there. No. What's the problem? Uh, you will only have this in XFC, not in other file managers. What we need to do is go into Sadly Flexible Hibiscus and go to the index team and tell them Oh, other screen and tell him that indeed this is not the hibiscus and uh, not as flexible but the hibiscus one so he is actually xfc is actually reading this line here the others don't they read the folder but this one reads this that's true so safe study flexible hibiscus fine that's all it was preferences and then uh, look xfc appearance and we have here Arc Hibiscus Dark, that's the one we made in another tutorial. And now we're going to look for Savvy Flexible Hibiscus. So this one. Okay, so we've now selected Savvy Flexible Hibiscus, but it's a copy paste of Savvy Flexible. So now we're going to run this one. Like so. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Time to seconds, please. Done. That's how fast it is. And there are your icons. And that's how I change. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. How much? 4,464 icons have been changed from color. Applause. So that's the look. If you like it, you hate it. But anyway, I just want to show to you that it's possible. You have this amazing power at your fingertips for of on Linux in general, and you can use it. So that's our next. Uh, this is our next uh, tutorial: how to change Sardi Flexible to Sardi Flexible Hibiscus.